Hey guys, and welcome back to my Pokemon fan art series. Now today we're starting again looking at another fan deck. As we finish looking at some like fan art designs, we're going to go back and look at another fan deck here. As usual, the link is in the description to the fan decks on DeviantArt. So um, yeah, let us get going. So first up we have the grass type starter Pokemon, as you would expect. We have Levote, Lambery, and Treacheries, I'm guessing. Uh, grass, Grass, and then Grass, Ice type. Now, Grass, Ice is obviously the same as Snova and Obama Snow. Um, I don't know what they're based on exactly. I'd say some sort of Mountain Goat, or um, just Sheep in general, because of the Ice typing is what I'm saying, Mountain Goat. Um, but the rest are kind of like Sheep as well, and obviously the Ram Horn, sort of. Um, the designs look okay, especially for Sprites. Um, would I want to see a Grass, Ice type or a starter Pokemon? It's a possibility, definitely. Um, I don't think Game Freak will do it, but... Um, yeah, it's a possibility that it could be a grass ice type, but really it's just, it would make it too weak to fire, so it's just, you know, making it worse, really. Next up we have Octofoosh, Alarmfish, and Moltilus. Fire, fire, and then fire steel types. Obviously based on octopuses and stuff like that. Um, I'm liking the design of Moltilus, the fire steel type, and you also like the, the typing there. Fire steel, obviously, we've had heat travel four. But um, starter Pokemon wise, it might be good. Obviously, still doesn't resist water, so there's no difference there. But um, yeah, I definitely think it's possible. And also, steel is then effective against ice as well. So if you did have this, this grass type starter Pokemon would just be completely screwed because it's like four times weakness to fire and then weakness to steel as well. So um, yeah, it's not really looking good for that grass type starter Pokemon, remember, is it? And then here we have the water type starter Pokemon. We have Murdrop, Streamaid, and Mermotion. Um, water, water, and then a water psychic type. Um, so there's no, no, obviously no um, sort of connection between the ice, steel, psychic typing. But um, again, obviously based on mermaids and kind of water droplets, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, the design looks good, I suppose. Mermotion, I'm not sure about its face. It's a bit, um, a bit crooked, I'd just have to say. But um, overall, generally, I like it. Water Psychic type, obviously, we've had that once or twice before. But um, as a starter Pokemon, might work quite well. And then here we have a four-line Pokemon. We have Bugly, Cucullus, Falde, and Nightmo. Bug Bug, Bug Light type, obviously, I have a Light type, so just imagine it as Fairy. And then Nightmo being a Bug Dark type. Obviously, being the Bug types of the region. Definitely liking the design on Bugly and Faldi and Nightmare. Not too sure about Kukalis though, it looks a bit simple and undefined really. Um yeah, Faldi, however, looks pretty damn cool, I'm liking that. And then Nightmare is obviously a good correspondence to it. I'm not sure about it. it's the white on its wings though. I think it might work better being the same colour as the body being a dark blue. But that's what the um Spider chose, so that's what I have to go with. But yeah, I'm liking the design on them. Bugly definitely looks cool as well. It looks kinda like a caterpillar that's got you know the very kind of the spikes and stuff. Um, obviously, you can't show hairs in Pokemon, so you have to, to show spikes, really. But yeah, overall, like in the design there, I'm guessing uh, Kokanas will move into a Fall Day or Nightmare, depending on the time of day. There's the most probable outcome, really. And then here we have Chipping and Munchik, being normal types, obviously very similar to Bidoof and Bibarel, but based on Chipmunks here. Um, the design, Munchig looks pretty damn cool. Uh, Chipping, however, not too short. Its face kind of looks a bit too wide. Um, the rest of its body is fine, though. But um, I'm generally liking the look of those. Obviously, being the normal types of the region, being equivalent to Rattata, uh, Centret, etc. Um, I think they'd be a good choice. Obviously, we haven't had Chipmunks, I don't think, before. So, again, that might be a good addition to the game. And then here we have McGrub, Dungard, and Beezlebuzz. Another lot of bug types, uh, being bug bug and then bug flying types. Um, I'm liking the design on the grub, definitely looks like a grub. Dung guard, I'm not too sure about. Obviously, it's based on a dung, dung, dung ball, like a dung beetle. Um, but I'm not, not exactly sure about it. Its face, kind of, it's, it's got its mouth, but then there's like two orange things that point down from it. Is that, that its hands going up to its mouth? Or is it just kind of whiskers or something like that? I'm not exactly sure. And then Beezle Buzz looks pretty cool, with the big bug eyes and small bug wings, and obviously based on a fly, I'm guessing. So a dung beetle fly line, really. 
And next up we have Dupe. Dupe is a poison type and... Well, I don't even need to tell you what it's based on. It seems to have two forms. Um, I'm guessing they switch depending on... I don't know. Health points, maybe. I'm not exactly sure. On that front, the, um, the creator doesn't give any kind of indication on screen. And then here we have the normal flying line for this region. It's a small one like in Generation 3. We have Chiquail and Mavrakul. Both normal flying types, obviously, so similar to the Taylor Swello line instead of a free stage. I'm liking the look of them um, based on quails, obviously, because they've got quail in the name. Um, again, I'm liking the design of them, especially to quail. Mavaralit's face looks, I don't know, it's probably just based on the, uh, the animal his face has come from. But um, I'm liking the look of it, really. It's, it's pretty cool. And then here we have Chuckling, Cluckin, and Cluckrule being electric flying types, similar to Amorga. Um, based on chickens, um, I'm guessing Cluckling will evolve into either Clucklin or Cluckrule, depending on its gender, because Cluckin is a hen and Cluckrule is a cockerel. And as we know, male, male chickens are cockerels and females are hens. So I'm guessing that um, it depends on the, the gender which it evolves to. I'm liking the design of all of them though. Cluckling, not as much, simply because of its Rosy cheeks don't look as good, but um, Clucken and Cluck were looking pretty cool. Um, obviously basing off the gender area of that sprite, really. And then finally for today we have Bumblebee and Stingle... 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 Bee, something like that. I don't know how to say that exactly. Both Bug Steel types. Um, based on bees, and I'm guessing some inspiration comes from, comes from Wasp as well. Um... They're looking cool. Obviously, we've had Combi already as a bee Pokemon, but um, I'd like to see as that. Could be a wasp Pokemon in general. Uh, Bugs, the steel typing's a bit strange, I find. But we can deal with it. It's similar to um, Skyzor and something else. Sizer. Yeah, I know you're going to hit me for that. Uh, yeah. But obviously, a four times weakness to fire there as well, so not helping it at all, really. But yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Uh, what do you think of these fan-made Pokemon guys? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll be seeing you guys next time where we'll be carrying on with this fan decks. Bye!